Larry Stogner coming up on Night Watch. Will they or won't they? We'll have the results of a vote at Cannon Mills. The issue, whether to form a union. And live on Night View, a man who says North Carolina can do just fine without unions. Details coming up on Night Watch. There will be no union at Cannon Mills. Nearly 10,000 Cannon employees cast their ballots yesterday and today, and when the votes were tallied tonight, it wasn't even close. 5,982 workers voted against union representation to 3,530 votes for a union. That works out to 63% of the employees opposed to union organization. The vote comes at the end of a 15-month organizing effort by the Amalgamated Clothing and Textile Workers Union. Now, with me tonight in our Night View segment, live from Raleigh, is George Shelton, president of Capital Associated Industries, a firm that helps companies fight off union efforts. Mr. Shelton, support your contention that unions hurt North Carolina. Well, Larry, I don't necessarily, uh, it's not my contention that unions hurt North Carolina. I think the issue is, are unions necessary in North Carolina? And I think the canon vote today uh, is not what I contend or what you contend, it's what employees in this state contend. And they've spoke loud and clear in this uh, major election here in the state that apparently they don't feel that a labor union is necessary to be involved in their employment relationship. Union supporters counter that if they don't look out for the rights of workers, no one will. Address that, if you will. Well, I think, Larry, certainly there are numerous uh, government agencies that have been created to protect the rights of employees. You have the occupational safety and health agencies. You have the wage hour people. You have the, the uh, numerous agencies that are created to protect the rights of employees. And I might add that... Uh, uh, these agencies uh, don't charge any dues to protect these employees, and uh, certainly they don't call strikes to protect these employees. So I think there's ample protection for employees there. Textiles are already hurting financially. How much of an additional burden would this have, would this have put on Cannon Mills? Well, you've already, earlier in your newscast tonight, talked about uh, import legislation. Certainly the textile industry is having severe, severe economic problems, and I think that... Uh, had the union been successful at Cannon, and had they been successful in any way uh, affecting the operating cost of that business, I think you were looking at the possibility that Cannon might not continue to exist as an employer. It's that simple. Even though this state does a tremendous amount of manufacturing, we're lowest in terms of union representation, why has it always been that way? Well, Larry, I think we get back again to the, uh, to the employees. You know, employers don't vote on whether you have unions or not. Employees vote, and I think that they have listened to the arguments and the, the proponents of unionism and campaigns, and they have spoken loud and clear over the years that uh, they just not, do not feel that a union is necessary to be involved in their employment relationship. So it I would, think the, uh, the employees are the ones making the decision. It would certainly seem that way in Kannapolis tonight. George Sheldon, thank you so much for being with us on our Night View segment. Thank you, Larry.